Welcome to our class again. This time, we're going to talk about question tags. What is a question tag? A question tag, or a tag question, is a question added at the end of a sentence. Question tags are used to make sure or to confirm that the information is correct. For example, you are a student here, aren't you? The tag aren't you is used to confirm the information you are a student here. The construction of question tags. Positive sentence has negative tag. A negative sentence has a positive tag. Negative tags. In negative tags, we use contractions. For example, Kiki and Kirana are twins, aren't they? But we cannot say Kiki and Kirana are twins, are not they? Are not is not allowed in question tag. The structure. The structure of a tag is auxiliary continued with subjective pronoun. Auxiliary consists of is, am, are, was, were, has, had, have, do, does, and all models such as will, can, shall, etc. Subjective pronouns consists of he, she, it, we, they, you, I, and their. Look at these examples. You work at home, don't you? In the main sentence, you work at home, the subject is you. So, in the tag, we use you as the pronoun. And then, in the second sentence, Jack does not love cookies, does he? In the main sentence, Jack is the subject. So, in the tag, we use he. Because Jack is a man. The third example. They have not done their job, have they? They is the subject of the main sentence. So, in the tag, we also use they. Sample 4. Brin jokes in the morning, doesn't she? Brin is the subject of the main sentence. So, in the tag, we use pronoun she. Next, you love cats, don't you? In the main sentence, you is the subject. So, the pronoun of the tag will be you. And then the last, Ernie will join you, won't she? In this sentence, Ernie is the subject. So, in the tag, we use she. How to find auxiliaries? If you cannot find the auxiliary easily, try changing the sentence into negative. Then, you will find an auxiliary before the word not. For example, we played basketball. The negative sentence of we played basketball is we did not play basketball. From this negative sentence, we can find that the auxiliary used is did, and therefore, the tag will be didn't we. We played basketball, didn't we? The next example, Louis writes novels. The negative sentence of Louis writes novels is Louis does not write novels, and therefore, we can get the auxiliary does, and then, we can use the auxiliary does in the tag. So, we will have Louise writes novels, doesn't she? The last example is you watch movies. Change you watch movies into negative, then we will have you don't watch movies. From this negative sentence, we can find auxiliary of this sentence is do. And therefore, in the tag, we will use don't you. You watch movies, don't you? Positive sentences have negative tags. 
For example, Indra will join the meeting, won't he? There was a wet glass on the table, wasn't there? Lenny should cook dinner, shouldn't she? You love durian, don't you? She has done her homework, hasn't she? Negative sentences have positive tags. For example, you can't turn the TV on, can you? Grace didn't take a bus yesterday, did she? Mother and Tim had come, hadn't they? You aren't pleased with the result, are you? There isn't anybody in the classroom, is there? Now, continue with the notes. This or that will become it, while these or those become they. For example, this is your bag, isn't it? That is your bag, isn't it? These are your bags, aren't they? Those are your bags, aren't they? There will remain there. For example, there are five students in the field, aren't there? There is an old house on the street, isn't there? Everything becomes it. While everyone, everybody, someone, somebody, no one, nobody become they. For example, everything is okay, isn't it? Everybody loves drama, don't they? Someone will stay at home, won't they? Nothing and nobody use positive tags. For example, nothing will stop me, will it? Nobody helped her, did they? Never, seldom, hardly, and rarely use positive tags. Why is that? Because never, seldom, hardly, and rarely mean negative. For example, she never walks to school, does she? Never has negative meanings, so the tag should be positive. She never walks to school, does she? Next, they seldom watch TV, did they? We hardly work together. Do we? I rarely catch fish in the pond, do I? I am, has, aren't I, or am I not in the text? For example, I am your teacher, aren't I? Or, I am your teacher, am I not? However, am I not is more formal. Intonations Rising intonation means you are asking a question. For example, Henry lives in Bogor, doesn't he? In this kind of utterance, the speaker does not really know whether the information is true or false. So, this kind of question is considered a true question. Falling intonation. Falling intonation is used when the speaker wants to confirm. For example, we are studying now, aren't we? The speaker knows the answer and wants to confirm or to get agreement from the hearer. Let's has shall we in the tag. For example, Let's meet up at 7, shall we? Or, the next example, let's check the answers together, shall we? Please compare let's and let. Let has tag will you. For example, let me help you, will you? Let the children play outside, will you? In this kind of question, let is actually an imperative. It is just like do, 
do me a favor, will you? Or do your job, will you? Imperative do or don't has will you in the tag. For example, clean the tub, will you? Don't walk on the grass, will you? Now, let's continue with the exercises. Put a suitable question tag at the end of every sentence. 1. You're with me. 2. Let's bake a cake. 3. I'm talking to you. 4. There will never be a fly in the house. 5. Don't press the button. Now, let's check the answers. 1. You're with me, aren't you? 2. Let's bake a cake, will you? 3. I'm talking to you, aren't I? 4. There will never be a fly in the house, will there? 5. Don't press the button, will you? Now, continue to number 6 until number 10. 6. That was not a mistake. 7. Someone should mop the floor. 8. We hardly talk to each other. 9. Let him take you to the library. 10. Everything will be paid. Let's check the answers. 6. That was not a mistake, was it? 7. Someone should mop the floor, shouldn't they? 8. We hardly talk to each other, do we? 9. Let him take you to the library, will you? 10. Everything will be paid, won't it? That is all our lessons for question text. Please continue practicing at home. Try to find question text anywhere, perhaps in the internet or in the reading. For example, you're reading comics or everywhere. That is all for today. God bless you all.